Good morning, it's Tim from Poolbacks here, another pool school. Uh, it's Saturday morning, we just had a, a big thunderstorm go through yesterday afternoon. Um, and it's prompted me to answer this question. Uh, we've had a lot of customers coming in in the last week or so who've been battling their pools for the last five weeks after a series of thunderstorms through uh, January. Um, so I take, take the time to explain what's going on um, when your pool turns green after a thunderstorm. Essentially, uh, algae needs uh, phosphate, which we test for, nitrate, and sulfate. So it needs those three chemicals in the water to, to grow effectively. Um, phosphate you might be aware of because we test for phosphates. Uh, there's no sort of test for the nitrates, not, not an inexpensive test that can be done at store level anyway. And sulphates are just in everything. So you can assume that you've got sulphates in, in your pool water. Um, the phosphates and the nitrates we can we can deal with. Now, what happens in a thunderstorm with the lightning is the nitrogen from out of the atmosphere basically gets dissolved within the rain at a rapid rate. So from nitrogen plus electricity. And then you get that huge dump of rain into the, into the pool water. Lots of nitrates go in. This is also a chlorine remover. So it also cancels out some or all of your chlorine. Your phosphates, depending on where the, that rain's come from, if there's been dust put up into the, into the rain, the phosphates can come from the rain itself. They can be inherent in the pool. Um, uh, you just, they come from all sorts of, of locations. I mean, even uh, out of clothing, phosphates in, uh, is something that's in your, water, in, in your detergents. So definitely out of grey water. So if you're in Kellyville in the area where there's a lot of the recycled water, your grey water, um, I never say use grey water to fill the pool because you're going to be loading it with tons of phosphate. With phosphate in the water, the pool is basically ripe to go green over, overnight or uh, in a minute when the next thunderstorm comes through. Um, so what we uh, basically do to treat that is... Uh, now, chlorine won't get rid of nitrates. Um, it just doesn't get rid of them at all. I think it's because it's got something to do with it cancelling out the chlorine that's in the pool. So... Nitrates we treat with sock and swim. Nitrates we treat with sock and swim. Phosphates Nilfos takes those out. And usually Nilfos will make the water cloudy, so plus some sort of a clarifier, tablet or clarifier. Now as a note on phosphates, um, when the pool's green, quite often we'll do a water test for phosphates when the pool is currently green, and we'll get no phosphates in the water. If it's green, it's got phosphates. What happens in that instance is the algae that's in the water has gobbled all the phosphates up, so we're getting a low reading, but it's inside the algae. So the minute we bash the pool with uh, your shock and swim, maybe an algicide to kill off the algae, the algae dies, basically the cell opens up and pours the phosphate back into the water. So that's why if you've ever had algae and you've bashed it with chlorine, bashed the pool with chlorine, it's come clear, and then you go through a cycle of a couple of weeks later, it goes green again and you're battling, goes clear green, clear green, clear green. It's because 
these phosphates are getting eaten by the algae, you're bashing it, the algae gets killed, it uh, um, basically explodes its guts into the, into the pool, the phosphates go back into the pool, um, some of the algae cousins don't quite get killed off, so they might be sitting in the corners of your filters still alive. The, the phosphate in the water goes past them and then they start to multiply again and the pool goes green again. If the pool is green, if there's algae alive in the water, you have phosphates and you need to treat with nilphos or possibly flock the pool if they're really bad. So basically that's the, the process that happens when your pool goes green after a thunderstorm. You've got phosphates in the water already, then by a huge downpour of thunderstorm type rain, nitrates have been introduced into uh, the pool. It's from the nitrogen mixing with the electricity and nitrates come down. The nitrates cancel out the chlorine. So unless you've had really high levels of chlorine, if you've got normal levels of chlorine, all of that chlorine is then used up. You've already got sulfates, it's just in the water. There's nothing you can do about it. Phosphate, nitrate, sulfate then gives the perfect environment for the algae to grow. And then the algae is basically supercharged and it goes nuts in the pool. So you can only treat nitrates and phosphates, so you do that shock and swim, neophos and a clarifier. Uh, if it's really bad, you'd also want to add in an algicide. So we always recommend the Polymax algicide because it's the most powerful algicide. You only use half of it and it's in itself is a clarifier as well. So the Polymax will clean it out um, and get the pool back to, to square one. So hopefully this explains what's going on when your pool suddenly turns green uh, after a thunderstorm and it gives you an idea of what process you've got to go through to clear it up quickly and get rid of uh, get rid of it, the phosphates at least, get rid of those so you don't have that vicious cycle of it happening again and again and again. Thanks very much. Cheers.